Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Raven. I'm here to show you today how to use Project Clippy. I forgot to go ahead and say this at the actual beginning of the video, but to make it clear, having Project Clippy alone won't actually produce the video. You're going to need something to record your clips from Project Clippy and put it in an editing software so you can go ahead and cut out the little black moments in between your clips. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of empty space that's going to look kind of terrible. For that, I recommend having OBS to record and DaVinci Resolve to edit. If you want, I'll have links in the description as well. So the first thing you want to do is get to this page. I'll have a link in the description. There's going to be one for Linux and I believe Mac, but this one down here, the .exe is going to be for Windows users. I haven't used the other two, so I don't know how to use them. They're probably the same, but I just can't be sure. If you're a Windows user, you probably are, like me, you're going to get the one called EXE. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and click it. It's going to ask you this. You might not get this page. If you don't, good. But if you do, you're just going to click on more info and run anyways. It's going to go ahead and install Project Clippy. The first thing you're going to want to do is go down here to your settings, where you can connect your Slippy, OBS, and Twitch. I haven't connected any of these and just to let you know ahead of time you do not need to connect any of these if you want to make a video or a clippy compilation. So the first thing you're going to notice is that you can create a profile. For this one we'll call this one YouTube. Let's say I'm doing a compilation and even though I main Pikachu I only want to see clips from my spaces. So even though there will be clips from Pikachu I can click on Falco and Fox so it only shows me these two characters for compilations. Under name tag filter, you can put in your tag so you don't have to watch compilations of your friends beating your ass or a time you got wrecked and unranked. You can go ahead and make sure they're specific to you. For example, we'll put in mine, which is RAVN529. Make sure you go ahead and put enter and it will now recognize it. So now it will only show clips that Raven529 is hitting. You can do a port filter to decide if you're in specific ports. I often have friends come over and we don't feel like setting up a CRT, so we move ports around, so I will keep all ports on. You can set up a combo length, so it needs to be at least two hits, at least three hits. We're going to say just one for now. You can do a minimum combo percentage, that if I don't hit up to this many percent, it won't recognize it. For this example, we're going to turn this down to 25 super simple just so i can show you guys later you can do character specific combo percentages so for example jigglypuff if you don't want something as simple as an up throw rest to be counted as a clip you can set it up a bit higher so she's got to do a little bit more something like a fair up air uh up tilt rest so it actually has to build up a percentage you can make these characters specific because you know you get certain ones or for example you want a character like your pikachu where you realize you may do quick little hits that do little gimp something as simple as five percent you can go ahead and do that you have the option to make it so that it must kill. Certain characters that are going to be like Fox are going to be a little bit better for this because you know your kills are mainly things like shines, up airs, and up smashes. But certain characters like Pikachu have a lot of gimps where I edge guard people and I don't technically kill them, they just fall outside of the box which is the stage. So you can go ahead and turn this on or off depending on which kind of clips you're going for. You're going to want to exclude CPUs, I promise you no one wants to see your clip compilation of you beating up a CPU, but maybe you just want to show a clippy compilation of how your movement is on the stage. You can exclude chain grabs so that you don't have to watch a clip of you chain grabbing as a character. You can exclude wobbling. You have the fuzzy name tag matching, not really important, but if you want to change it, it's up to you. You can do chain grab characters to exclude chain grabs from certain characters. For chain grab threshold, you can move this up and down to decide, hey, if the chain grab is 80% of the combo, then I don't want to see it. You can do large hit threshold, so if the combo does a single hit that does so much damage, something like a rest or just, I guess, maybe like a Captain Falcon uh, neutral B, you can go ahead and actually cut those out. There are some cool combos that include a little bit of wobbling, so if you want to have a minimum pummels per wobble, you can actually set that up. Appearance, you can enable dart filter or put on this DISGUSTING THING! Tell me you guys aren't using light. Tell me you guys aren't using light mode. 
Using the automator, you can create for certain events. You have a lot of options here, but I recommend using button input combination. So doing something like pushing L, Z, and R at the same time will start triggering a certain event. So when it's pressed, we'll save that here. It'll go. You can create a Twitch clip, a notification, play a sound, write to a certain file, or change a scene in your OBS. Project Clippy doesn't have to be just used to make Clippy compilations. You can actually use it to benefit your OBS streams if you're streaming on Twitch. If you're doing Clippy compilations, this is what you're worried about, the replay processor. You're gonna open up your Slippy launcher and you're gonna go to replays. Under here, you'll have your folder where it saves your Slippy replays. You're gonna go ahead and click Slippy replay directory and make sure that it's on the same direction. So for example, mine is under documents, under Slippy, which is probably where yours is at, but who knows. To find your highlights, you can make it search for combos, conversions, or a button combination of some sorts. You can even highlight the matching to go to a certain profile. Once they're done, you can click delete files with no highlights. I don't recommend doing this because Slippy makes it super easy on the Slippy launcher to just delete the files later. Make sure you click this. You're going to want this. And I'll, I'll show you why. You can rename files if you want. I'm not going to do that, but it does make it a little easier to organize. If we click process replays, I don't have any, so nothing is going to load up. So I'm going to go down here and load up Slippy with a certain modded images so you guys can see that. As you guys can see, I do have texture packs loaded in, and I'm going to show you why this is important later. As you can see, I clearly have texture pack mods on my Slippy. <laughs> All right, now that the game is done, we make sure to say GG's. If you guys don't say GG's, you actually won't get any clips at all. You have to say GG's. We're going to click Process Replays, and it's going to go ahead and find them. It found six highlights in the two files that I have, so one of a Fox game and one of a Falco game. You can go ahead and start recording OBS and click here. Even though we played with mods and had a texture pack, if I want something like my clean melee so the compilation doesn't show any of my textures, I can click on clean melee and it will show those highlights without any of the textures. When that's all done, you've processed your highlights and you've recorded them on OBS. You've saved your OBS file and now you're done recording, you can go ahead and actually put them somewhere on your desktop to edit them. Using OBS, DaVinci Resolve, and Project Clippy is how I made my first Clippy compilation. If you're interested in watching the full video, you can go ahead and check the description. I'll have a link there for you. From this point, editing is on you. It's up to you to do everything else from here. I just want to give you the tools. I hope this video has been helpful, and I hope to see you guys putting out Clippy compilations. If you do make a Clippy compilation and you want me to check it out or even show it on stream, be sure to go ahead and leave it in the comments so I can go ahead and watch your videos later. I really want to see what you guys can make. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're interested in watching more content from me, you can either keep watching me here on YouTube or check out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash ravenx46. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I hope to see you guys putting out Clippy compilations and until next time, it's been your boy Raven, peace out.